So you want to game on your PS5 console by connecting it to your Pioneer Zumo TV. That's why in this quick guide, I'll show you how you can properly connect your PlayStation 5 to your 4K Zumo TV and properly adjust its settings so that you can get the most out of your Zumo TV and your PS5 console. The first step We'll be connecting one end of the HDMI cable to our PS5 console's HDMI port and the other end of the cable to one of the HDMI ports of our Pioneer Sumo TV. And in case your TV has an HDMI eARC port and it's not populated, then you can plug in the HDMI into the eARC for an increased data transfer speed. After connecting the HDMI, we will insert the power cord into our console and then connect it to a power outlet. Now grab your PS5 DualSense controller and if it's already paired to your console, you can just press the PS button and your console will turn on. But if it's not paired, then just connect your DualSense controller using an USB cable and then turn it on. After it turns on, you should see the PlayStation 5 loading up on your Zumo TV. If it doesn't switch automatically, then just press your Zumo TV remote's input button and select your PlayStation 5. Voila, now you have successfully connected your PS5 to the Pioneer Zumo TV. But that's not all, cause you'll need to make sure that some important settings are set up correctly. Let's start from the console. So open settings, then go down to screen and video, then go to video output, resolution, and make sure to manually select 4K or the highest resolution that's supported by your TV. After that, if you get high refresh rate, then you can turn on VRR or variable refresh rate. Also make sure 120Hz output is set to automatic and turn on auto low latency mode. Then go down to color, make sure HDR is always on or when supported. You can also adjust HDR from here and you can change RGB range to full. Then you can go back, go to system, then HDMI and turn on HDMI device link or CEC so that you can turn on or off your TV and console together. With this, we are done with the console settings. Now you'll need to grab your Zumo TV remote, open your TV settings by pressing the settings button, then head to picture and sound, then picture settings, and make sure it's set to game so that you can get low input lag. Now that you have chosen all the correct settings on both your console and your TV, you are ready to start gaming with the maximum performance possible. So that's how you properly connect your PS5 to your Pioneer Zumo TV. If this helps, drop a like, subscribe and stay tuned for more.